Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm going to help you out uh, or show you how to put a 6000 lift together. This will be a 213 model or 2013. It's uh, new this year. Or the design is new anyways. But here's what we have for the package. We've got uh, the carriage, these four parts here. That goes up and down. Uh, we've got the outer frame in a pile right there and that comes banded together. There's a, a loose wheel. There's a winch. And there's also going to be a box of nuts and bolts and hardware, which I've got kind of, I haven't opened up the bags, but I just got them laid out on this pallet here. Uh, we've got uh, the bunk hardware, we've got the cap, the miscellaneous, and the uh, carriage, and this will be the frame to put it together. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up the frame bag, kind of organize them, and uh, there's also some plates for the frame for our V braces, guide plates, pound clamps over here, which we'll get into. As far as what you're going to need to put it together, probably some open end wrenches. I've got a socket set here. I've got a 15 16 socket here. A crescent wrench will work. This is just easier, faster for me. The 5 8 uh, nuts on the ends of the cables. Uh, that's what I'd be using that for. But if we had a, a good sized crescent wrench, that would work. But it's 15 16 I've got a hammer, which we're not going to use a hammer to put it together, but to install the cable, it's, a, it's handy to have a hammer. Um, got a pair of scissors just to open up the bags. And uh, that's about it. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to take the frame portion apart and I'm going to start working on the legs, which we'll uh, show you next. Okay, we're going to put the, uh, the legs together right now, the telescoping legs that go inside the columns to the lift. In the package you're going to have some two and a half square, 30 inches long. Some of them may be inside the columns, so if it doesn't look like you have them all, look inside the columns, it could be inserted in there. So we're going to need the leg, we're going to need the pad bracket, which should be in the box, and the pads, which are in the package, banded together. But there's a 3 8 by 3 quarter carriage bolt. That will go through the pad bracket and the pad. Like this right here. And then there's a 7 16 by, let's see, it'd be three and a half on the bottom here that goes through the pad bracket, through the, uh, the leg, and bolts all together. Like that. So the 7 16 by three and a half, the 3 8 by three quarter carriage. Kind of the way I got it right here. Next thing you're going to want to take, this should be a bag with four pins and four clips. You can insert that into the columns. Now, they only go one way. There's a hole drilled there and they line up with these here. And I normally set it for my own, you know, like putting it together, is on this hole or that hole. Get it jacked up off the ground a little bit so it's a little easier to work on. You can always reset it later. hairpin to go through it, keep it in place. Got her. So this would be the, uh, if I were standing in the center of the left, my column's going to be, and this is the front, like front of your boat or the front of the lift where the winch is at. I've got the winch column, which would be the taller column of the columns you have on the left upper side. The rear column is going to have a tube welded on top of it. And that will be on my left side, left back. The non-wench side, you're going to have two columns and they're mirror image of one another the way the clamps are bolted on. You're going to have a T-clamp. This is what we call T-clamp. It's going to be going towards the inside. The T-clamp is going to go towards the inside. The L-clamp, we call it, is going front to back on both of them. So these two are basically just a mirror image of one another. And I just got them spread out there because they're going to be there at some point in that arrangement. What I'm going to do next is grab the uh, spreader that goes on the bottom and start putting these together. I'll allow uh, these bolts to do that too. 
I'm going to start sanding the columns out and putting the bottom perimeter framework in place. I've got a uh, 2x6 uh, that runs from front to back. It's uh, 124 inches long. It's going to have a hole on the top and a hole on the top here and towards the center. Those holes go on top. It doesn't really matter on this side so much, but the other side, it's got, the winch side's got to go that direction. The spreaders, we call them, are going to be 119 inches long. And they're going to have, they may have, I should say, four holes drilled here for some bracing. That is for the 8,000 pound lift, so if it has holes, don't worry about it. It's just kind of a multi-purpose part. But we aren't going to put putting the bracing on this particular lift. So, anyways, I just grabbed a few 3 8 by 7 bolts out of the frame bag, which is laying on the ground there. Kind of easy, uh, easy to get at them here. I'm going to stand and start standing columns up. Is one bolt right now just to kind of help secure them. You may need some help with this. Goes together pretty simply. have things kind of somewhat square
there. Next we'll get the uh, corner plates around by the corners. We'll tram the lift and uh, once we get it trammed so it's square, we'll, uh, we'll tighten things up.